Okay, so against Mage, we want our one and two drops, so we're going to dump this in. Tuscar and Fiddle Spirit are great to have, but only when you have minions that will support you as well. Yeah, very happy with the Tunnel Truck here. Tunnel Truck into the Double Rock Biter. Okay, so the Coin Innervate Water Elemental. We have a way to deal with it with the Double Rock Biter, guys. Yeah, so pretty easy hero power attack in here. Probably going to see... A frostbolt or something here. Some sort of removal on the tunnel truck. I doubt that it'll live another turn. Yeah, if I if I ever get a sub button, uh Kelly Peen man, Yogg, the Yogg mode will definitely be one of the ones I'll have. Praise Yogg, yo. Control Yogg, that sounds like a good one, man. Trying to control it, but nah, it doesn't work, you know. <laughs> Oh man, this is not the start you want against Freeze Mage, guys. But uh, the double Rock Biter Alec here could be game winning here. Yeah, I gotta throw it down here. Yeah, we're definitely not in a good spot against Freeze Mage right now, guys. Yeah, Lab Monkey, that's how my Yogs have been in the past little while, dude. That's why we've been playing the Shaman list for a bit. Just, you know, at a certain point, it's kind of like. I would like to win every so often when I play Hearthstone. Forgotten Torch. Okay. I mean, we draw something on Curve to play, so we can't complain about that. Uh, unfortunately, we're probably going to have to Fire Ellie the 1 1 next turn. Card just needs to die. The spell power is too strong. It really is too strong. Uh, Loot Hoarder, I don't know if we care about, though. I'm almost considering using Hex on one of them. But, uh, I think this is gonna have to be the play. I'm hoping this is Ice Barrier. Okay, no, we got the block up. So, Blizzard puts us in a bad spot. Any sort of removal, really, or any sort of stall cards. If they make it to turn 6 with a relative... Wow, okay. If they make it to turn 6 with a high life count, you're usually in a bad position against them. That tells me he has a flame strike. We can't use these on anything but face. Gotta go for the mana tide here. Yeah, so I'm expecting that flame strike to come out now. Yeah. Okay. Definitely fine with that. Uh, yeah, we go for the Doctor Four Arjun Squire Hero Power Play. Again, looking for Taunt Totem. Okay, and again, we're not gonna Rock Biter that. We need to get the 18 damage with Alakirian. Yeah. This is kind of a make it or break it turn here. If you can deal with our, yeah, if you can deal with that, we're in a bad spot for sure. Otherwise, we're good. But yeah, so, then ping, right? Got a ping there, got a ping there. Hey, MPG420, thanks for the fall, man. Appreciate it, dude. Um, Yeah, you use a 0 3 totem, dude, just a cycle, man. It's not too, too valuable in this matchup. It's really just something to be played. Yeah, gotta use the flame tongue here. Force the removal. Push the, push the 3 damage. If any of these stick, uh, specifically the Flame Tongue, we're going to push next turn. Yeah, we got to push next turn. In this matchup, you win faster, you lose. It's usually how it goes against the Freeze Mages. So, like, uh, we don't really need to get Mana Tide Totem value. We just need to get it out there and we need to get value from it immediately. This is really how it works. Yeah, so if we draw into an Azure Drake, I'll actually probably play the Azure Drake. Just to cycle. It's not good for too much else here. Yeah, so we're going to Tuscar first, see what we get. Hero power. Hex the uh, Doomsayer. We hope this sticks. With the Alec here, we can pop him next turn. Yeah, man, I mean, in a matchup like this, you really just don't need to get crazy value out of your Manatides. You just... 
You need one more card, man. You need to draw into something that's playable here. Okay. Let me just make sure I'm not doing the math wrong here. Like, So, 9 times 2? Yeah, 18. So, yeah, we're 3 off still. Okay. Yeah, so we go for the Hex Hero from uh, thing from below play. Definitely the two best targets for Hex in this matchup. Yeah, so we attack in like that, we do 8 damage there, 9 with the uh, nine with our 1-1, one, one. so then he is at 12. And then we can just pop him with both Alakiris next turn. Uh, that's best case scenario though, it likely won't happen. Yeah, he'll just ping one anyway, so we're gonna have to use both anyways. That's bad. The only they get the worst one out, usually the worst position you're in. The worst position you're in is, sorry. Okay. Uh, does Flame Tongue mean can pop him on board or anything like that? Maybe we don't even clear that. Maybe we just save Double Rock Biter. 8, 9. 9 plus 12 is popped. Yeah, I gotta go for it, guys. So we gotta leave the Thorson up. Oh, no, no, no. We have to use Double Rock Biter, right? I'm tripping out. Yeah, we have to double rock by here to pop. We still do it though. That one damage is so huge. Okay, so let me just math here. We do tw we do twelve damage. Yeah, we're one off if we do twelve, so we gotta do this much. We attack him with nine. He's at twelve, still can't do that. Gotta go like this. We gotta pop like this and then trade though, which is pretty big. It means Thorson is still dead. But we preferred him to be at one. It doesn't matter too much though. Really in this scenario, if our board sticks, we can win. If it doesn't, we just lose. He used one Nova. One Ice Block. He could still have Barrier. Barrier and Nova is enough. Second Blizzard's enough to freeze. Second Ice Block. Yeah, it should be game then, guys. Uh, not much you can do there. Just because he's going to have the burn damage from hand is the issue. Uh, yeah, we can flame tongue here. Do that. Do that. Put him at one. Go boom. Yeah, I almost want this to have the divine shield up. Doesn't matter too much. Okay, so maybe he doesn't have the damage and we live this turn. But the aggressive uh Yeah, the aggressive play there is not too great for us. The aggressive uh Alex Strazo, it's never good to see that. It just means that you assume you're dead. Again, it can always be a bluff, but no way. Interesting. Okay, I don't like trading there then. But I mean, can't do too much about that. Uh, we have Fire Ally for a lethal. Off the top, right? Oh, man. Feels bad, man. Squire's good. Uh, yeah, I think we played hard. We play hard into AoE. We can't not play hard into AoE. We force him to have it this way. Yeah, I mean, what else can we do, right? We want a Tuscar for Manatide for sure. At the very least, we're going to do this for sure. Maybe save this. Like, what will one of this do? What will, like, what will this accomplish, really, is the question. And not much, considering the board state. He can just Flame Strike Ping, and it will still be the same thing. So I don't think there's any point in playing that. And the reason behind Tuscar is, if we get Manatide, then we can draw into Fire Ellie sooner, and have Lethal from hand. Is a gameplay. Yeah, Keith feels good, man. 20 viewers is great, dude. Yeah, Ruku. Yeah, man. No, I did the math wrong, dude. Figured it out on the fly, though. It's like, well, it's in my hand. It's kind of hard to visualize it. 
But after playing um, playing it, double rock biter, it's like, okay, okay, I can do this here, attack him with a 3 3, then go in. Okay. So a good game against the Freeze Mage. Unfortunately, he bluffed with the Alexstrasza, didn't actually have the burn. Uh, I'm happy with that, though. I mean, we played the way we had to to win. So, yeah, good game.